Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 23. Okay, the previous episode, uh, it was insane. Um, we saw the new power of Yo and Faust as well. We still don't have any idea how strong Ryu is, but I'm sure he is also probably, you know, at the same level as um uh Faust and not sure about Yo if he's stronger than Yo, but at least I'm sure he's strong as strong as Faust. So and Faust seems yeah, he seems he has a lot of new techniques. Um he can completely change he his his legs are now made of the uh, uh Frankenstein's bones and he has like you know Eliza is like now with him forever I guess and he has like a new power the whole the thing that he did in the end the oversoul mephisto i think it's called you know where elisa kind of becomes big and i'm not sure what like you know how they'll fight and what new powers we're going to see but yeah i'm looking forward to that and yo we saw how like you know we saw his strength and yeah it's insane with the help of the uh that relic i can't remember its name you know with the help of that uh he can bring out a lot of power now so yeah like we just got a little teaser of his power so i'm sure we're going to see more of him in the future main battles most probably but this battle i think uh Faust can handle it himself so <laughs> let's see what, what you know what this battle is and how this will go uh will you join in the fight or will he stay like you know uh as a spectator and Faust himself will completely defeat all of them let's see so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 23 of Shaman King. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Wait, I realized one thing. Um, for Foss's voice actor is Dio, isn't it? I mean, Dio's voice actor, isn't it? I think so. I realized it this late. What the hell? <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, well, it's called Mephisto, so you know. There's a reason for that. <laughs> okay. I have, I'm going to check if, if I remember, you know, by the end of this episode, if um, Foster's voice actor is Dio, I think it is Dio. Like I won't, like, you know, misrecognize that voice. So yeah, it, it is Dio, I think. Like, I, I was thinking, like, how are they going to go close in power level to how? Like, how is immensely strong? But now I can see them actually fighting part, you know, like, uh, on the same level as how. I can see that now. Like, I was wondering that, I thought that, yeah, like, your team is very weak compared to how. So how are they going to do it? Here, we have our answer now. They're immensely strong now. <laughs> uh. To bring my Elizabeth now. Oh. Mephisto refers to the great. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's Mephisto. So it was his ancestor. Okay. <laughs> 500 years ago. Okay. Damn, he's beautiful. 
Oh, this is the Mephisto Phallus? Yeah. With the devil. Exchange for his own life. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 500 years ago, long time ago. <laughs> Those Senji rackets, I need to remember that. Uh, he looks cool. Whoa! What are those, like umbrella? Those are umbrellas, aren't they? I <laughs> inject them. Whoa! What? <laughs> That's an amazing power. <laughs> True. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Uh Well, the first thing like they, he's just fighting her himself only. They should realize that from that only that they're immensely strong. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's just them. Okay. True. Oh, you see? Okay, he's going to do something. Okay. Oh. Please, everything. Oh, so the atmosphere... Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, the, as, as I said, the atmosphere, the water in the body. Wait! Um... Ryu, are you okay? What? It's melting! <laughs> Is it so, like... Damn, his soul is on fire. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, what the? Whoa, what is this? My God, yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, it won't work. Okay, this is something new. No, it's not. Uh, we saw this before. Who? Oh. Oh no, it's gonna freeze. But you saw, he... Like, it melts. His body, like, is on... Oh, that. Oh, it's continuously okay. <laughs> True. Yeah.
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Stay in again. Wait, this is not a... Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, that's right. All right. What's he even doing? <laughs> wow, um, Tokagero really changed. Hmm. Damn. Yeah, same with them. They also went through a lot. Like, yo. He's crying. Unnecessary just training. <laughs> oh my god. He's getting flashbacks. Oh my god. He's getting flashbacks. Hmm. Like, I understand their point of view, but one thing that I one thing that I don't like is that they're underestimating them. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh! Come on! Oh, wait, what? What's happening? What the? Why is it cracking? Oh! Great evolution. Okay. Whoa! 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 Oh my god, this is Yamato no Orochi. My god. Okay. <laughs> Damn! Oh! <laughs> They didn't even start fighting, they just showed their true forms, and that's it. Like, that's it. They just showed them their ultimate technique, and it's over. Yamato no Orochi, go. Go, like five. Number five? I imagine what Yo has become. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> like he I think he's just uh, in denial that's just it like he thinks Oh my god, yeah, they must have, yeah, we can see that they have had hard pasts. Um. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, like, this is. Okay. Alright, let's see. He's true bright, too prideful. That's his problem. Mm, nah, it won't work. <laughs> Whoa. 
What? 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 What the hell? Oh, that was water. Okay. Um. Wait, what happened? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh. oh okay, it was basically It was like a battle of determination or something like uh, Fast Pride. I like the uh, okay. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> nah. Yeah, this is your. Yeah, that's why. Hmm. But I think. Like what he's doing now might also hurt their pride, won't it? Like Yeah. Okay, hopefully he Okay, there you go. He understood it now. You and your citizens. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> Hmm. There you go. Like this is what I was talking about. This is okay. But the thing that he was doing before was not how Okay, let's see. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa, iceberg. North Pole Aurora. Okay, let's see. Oh. Whoa! It's like a cannon, you know, it's not a sword, it's like a huge cannon. My god, okay. Well... Ha! Whoa, alright. Broad-minded. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, who's this? Oh, Ren. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Uh, first and oh, how is here? Okay. Well, if if he actually does that, it will be actually helping them. Like, you know, ran in a way. All right. <laughs> wow, direct. <laughs> okay, there you go. Ah. Huh. Yeah, it's immensely powerful. Oh, and that. <clears throat> Without losing their way with it. Wow. <laughs> oh no, don't say that to Ren. Oh my god. Oh, well. <laughs> Hmm. Um. Okay. Oh, that's a pop. Wait, what? Is this like the whole? I hope this doesn't go now to Sasuke completely. Oh no. I'm getting. Whoa! What the? God, what? In this... Uh... Uh... Hmm. And he's also from a uh, cold place, you know, Horo Horo. So, so. He's huge. We, now, now I'm left looking at him. He's huge. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, where is he? Oh, is this Lysa? Okay, thank God they're talking. Oh, okay. Well, thank God they're actually talking, you know, like, it, like if, if they did not communicate, uh, it would be like, you know, like, uh, what can I say? Like a miscommunication thing will start happening. Like yo, I'm I'm sure yo will forgive him and won't say anything about it. But the problem is on Lysark's side. Like he might start like you know imagining stuff and like you know like jump into conclusions himself, and that will probably affect him more. You know, like he might start thinking that oh, like I betrayed yo, so 
like you know uh, like i can't go back and can't ask for his help or stuff like that it might go in that direction so like thank god they're talking you know like they can like at least communicate and any problems that Lyserk have or any kind of things that he he's thinking hopefully he brings it up in front of yo and yo gives an appropriate response to it so yeah like miscommunication is a really annoying thing in anime like you know like there's a lot of things that happen because of miscommunication which probably never would have happened if the characters actually talked with each other you know like <laughs> so thank god they're talking yeah okay that's it all right okay this was an episode um we were able to see all of their powers in a way you know uh Faust, Ryu and Yo's as well I thought they were probably going to do something like they're only going to show Faust's power he would he only like, you know, it would only take him for the him to defeat the the opponents and that would be it and uh Ryu and Yo's power would be you know reserved for some other episode in the future i thought it was going to go like that but no they kind of gave us a glimpse little glimpse of uh, all three of them all three of their powers and uh, yeah okay so first of all Faust is uh you know uh over so so we get to know that his ancestor had made a pact with the demon mephistopheles and this is like uh, this Mephisto, Mephisto E that he has like, you know, created that is um, based on that research. And he had used the 206 bones or of, of Eliza's and it, it kind of showed us the x-ray, I think. And I don't know, like, I, I saw a lot of other things. Yeah, like there were bones, but I think there were a lot of other things, <laughs> you know inside uh Elisa as well like umbrellas and stuff <laughs> i don't know i'm guessing those were the extra stuff that he added but yeah and <clears throat> we we were not able to see their power properly they, it, he just transformed and that was it like he did not even use any of his of her strength we still don't know how much extent how extent his power is strong and it is immensely strong, I'm sure of it, but we did not see anything about his techniques and stuff, which will probably work to an advantage in the future fights, I'm guessing, you know, because uh, like letting your enemies, uh, let, like knowing your enemy's power and techniques would probably put the opponents, the future opponents at an advantage. They can make proper strategies based on that. So that won't happen. We are still, you know, at dark of what his you know power actually is we just saw his oversoul but that's just it nothing else so yeah he'll probably take other opponents by surprise when he actually uses his power in the future okay, that was that and then we saw ryu's power as well his oversoul and uh it's yamato no orochi now <clears throat> obviously we all know yamato no orochi is a uh, um, I'm completely not sure. Let's just a second. Let me just Google it. Yamata. It's kind of a mythological uh, creature, I think, uh, in Japanese mythology. Uh, where is it? Legendary eight headed uh, and eight tailed dragon or serpent. Okay. Uh, wasn't. I Susano like involved in something with oh okay here it is it's Susano slaying the Yamato no Orochi okay yeah like I I, I kind of remember like just there's something Susano was somehow involved with Yamato no Orochi so Susano uh, slayed Yamato no Orochi okay I remember it now anyway so th this is like Yamato no uh, or, like you know his oversoul and um you know Tokagaro's new form and uh, yeah it's insane. <laughs> and one thing I'm, I'm, I'm seeing here, like uh, Yamato no Orochi's form, we can see that Tokagoro is there with two weapons in his hands. And then there's like a 
car is that a car like we can see two wheels and on top of it we can see the eight-headed snake or serpent or the dragon so <laughs> it's kind of unusual looking isn't it like there's like a it looks like a car but then it's like on top of it it's there's the uh eight-headed serpent but yeah it, it does look cool and yeah okay so now the thing here is uh, the um uh, what was the name of their the, the group the opponents i forgot their name uh the group name you know uh the leader like okay now here's the thing we saw here a little flashback where was it um hey okay, i think and okay here it is just a sec um, okay we see here like i think in the previous uh, episode like i was really surprised at how high their um you know pride is and in the previous episode in the comment section i got to know that uh they obviously they are very like you know uh, where they have been born they have been going through a lot of hardships so these people you know uh, you know it's kind of uh, of like you know obvious like when they came here and suddenly saw this group here who is just like you know like an uh, like fumbari onsen and they're like advertising their th stuff they thought that oh these people they are making fun of us you know like they do like they're just playing around here whereas we like you know us we have gone through so much thing so much hardships and we have uh you know uh gone through so much stuff that yeah like we can't lose to these people who are just making a fool of us in a way you know uh, so that was like their mentality i think now here we can see a little bit of a flashback where we can see i think this is the main guy who is uh pulling a ship yeah i think that is the main guy isn't it the leader he looks quite different here by the way okay and then we see the girl who some you know some like wires are connected to her i'm guessing she was experimented upon or something no that's not the guy that's the other guy the one who is uh pulling the ship is is the big guy the viking guy uh and then we see the uh, like the, the leader uh who it seems he he has like chains in his hand i'm guessing was he like some kind of uh I, I don't know was he imprisoned or was he like uh i don't know some kind of like you know slave or something i, I think i can kind of, kind of feel it something like that he was like tortured and something you know because of the chains in his hand he probably like uh broke out of that place or something you know in this cold wind uh, winter like you know area uh like their hometown is very cold so obviously and like bleeding and everything so <clears throat> like these experiences were making him feel like yeah like these people they don't even know what we've gone through and they're making fun of us they're just like you know making light of us now like okay like i understand like that obviously that's going to piss them off like if they suddenly see some group that's just like you know advertising <laughs> their hot springs in uh, in this like fight uh yeah i i can kind of understand that why they got mad at them but the things that they were doing even after they realized that yeah these people are very strong and just you know like <clears throat> that was a little bit what can i say a little bit more uh a, a bit a tad bit prideful of him in a way but as like you know he said that if we don't do <clears throat> like victory is our survival like uh it, it was all like it was something like that all along for them so you know like like the guy we can probably like you know guess he he is quite prideful himself so something like this probably did not sit well with him and even after seeing like you know like seeing them so strong and understanding that yeah these guys are actually really strong enough and you know they're not joking around here he still wasn't able to swallow that and he just kept going so <clears throat> and that's what i was saying you know like um like yeah he has something in his past that's understandable but obviously that should not make you 
underestimate your opponents like that's that's the wrong thing you're doing here like you know so yeah that's what probably was his you know in a way a reason for his outbursts sudden outbursts and yeah like uh, <laughs> and yo yo really was not affected by anything he was like you know uh <laughs> and that probably pissed him off even more but by the end you know when we see that okay that thing that yo did uh, when three of them started attacking him just a sec he says that no problem and <clears throat> i don't know he like breaks the ice i think yeah and he just stands there now that that thing really confused me as well like what happened there and now according to anna as far as i could understand okay he's anna says that you didn't do anything really um okay uh you could say that yo just closed his eyes and did nothing okay like i said he didn't really do anything in particular yo supple flexible furyoku simply warded off all the iceman's brute force oh okay okay brute force furyoku But that doesn't mean it's something that can be done easily okay so she, yeah okay it makes sense in a way so she's saying like basically as i said this is all like battle of determination battle of furyoku so how one is from the inside probably defines their strength and how they fight in the future uh no, sorry not in the future how they fight uh you know outside so what here happened is like yo yo is the definition of flexible <laughs> you know by his personality each and everything he is ex like you know he 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 is flexible like had a face it would be yo's face so yeah that's why his furyoku is flexible and the obviously the iceman their furyoku is um brute force you know just like go head first something like that so obviously being flexible he can easily go past that and nothing will even affect him so yeah and and one thing that i really what can i say um felt uh, not not felt here but <clears throat> okay so one thing i can see here is that yo is like a river you know like yo everything about yo his personality his furyoku everything is like a river it adapts you know it it takes the form where it is put into it you know like nothing really affects it it just flows on according to adapting to its circumstances like that's probably i think the best definition of yo's character is furyoku everything i think so at least so like obviously like you know like if you like try to punch water in a river nothing will happen you know like the brute force here was i i guess icemen here they tried to brute force in and it, it was as if they were like punching water nothing just happened the water just like you know uh, flowed around them like you know the water obviously the water can't break and nothing will happen it, it's, it's just flexible and um, free and you know yeah like something like that <laughs> yo's furyoku so that's how they were able like uh, yo was able to actually do nothing and get away with like you know without getting any um, uh, damage from that so yeah and then, again anna says here like uh where is it even the faintest hint of fear would cause his furyoku to stiffen up at once and clash head on with the iceman's furyoku there you go okay so yeah so slightest hint uh, of fear or wavering in his determination would stiffen him up and that would probably be uh like you know like then they would clash head on because but that because that was not the case yo was as calm as cool as ever yo was completely yo so that's why it did not affect him as far as i could understand from this that's what makes yo so strong iceman's strength relied too much on his past pride yeah this thing 
but yo always calmly here we go this also kind of as i said like you know yo is like the river but uh, the thing that anna says here yo always calmly accepts whatever he's faced with in that moment and overcomes it so yeah that's basically what a river is it accepts everything and flows along with it adapting with it so yeah that's just that's just yo <clears throat> all right so <laughs> okay so and then what he does is like he calls out the iceman and says that give it your all fight uh, you know with your everything online and i'm also going to give it my all and now the, the reason here is pretty nice i have to say like you know but as as as, as we know like this is your we are talking about so it's kind of expected of him uh, to do something like this is that he like you know if if they as they said if they lost here and went back home this whole pride thing would kind of keep burdening them and they won't be able to get out of this cycle and it would probably mess stuff up for them in the future as well so that's why yo was like yeah like give it your all like you know i'm also going to give it my all fair and square let's settle it here and let let's end this here that's what they did they like you know and the main the main leader was also able to iceman's leader he was also able to you know accept that in a way and decided to go all out okay and the thing that iceman the uh, the leader says here is <clears throat> there's one thing i'm not convinced of though uh our pride is of no concern to you and your silly sense of justice <laughs> and <laughs> like that in as i said like you know i was thinking like you're doing this would also probably hurt their pride and that's what he is actually saying here he's saying that like what our pride like you know this is our pride this is our problem you don't have to make a big deal about this you can do your own thing you know and i'm i'm sure like <laughs> like like yo saying that also probably hurt his pride a little bit but then yo says that nah this is something that i am doing for myself as well i put in the training i don't want to see what amitaman is capable of <laughs> yeah that was like a nice what can i say mm. uh you know uh excuse no not excuse but a nice way he actually <laughs> changed the direction of the conversation and yeah that is probably something that he needed to hear the iceman leader because otherwise yeah his pride would not let him like you know uh, fight him at that moment since yo said that this is not because of you it's actually because of me i want to fight he also came to a compromise i'm sure he knew that yo is just telling this just because you know uh, he doesn't want to hurt his pride i'm sure he knew that but he make made a compromise here and he was satisfied with his answer and he was like okay i'll do it and it's a good way you know like both of them like both yo and uh, the iceman leader came into a compromise in a way and like even though the iceman knew that they're going to lose but since their pride is so high if they lost in that way it will probably bug them forever so yeah they came into compromise they were like you know what yeah let's just end this and no need to drag this thing out around let's give out give it our all and let's see what you know like how <laughs> like you know how it, like you know how he uh, responds and how he's also going to give it his all and yeah let's just end this whole thing here and move on with our lives yeah they knew that they were going to lose obviously like yeah, but it was just a matter of pride, you know. Like, yeah, I understand. It's pretty understandable since as as they have gone through so many things and yeah, suddenly seeing something like this probably hurt them a lot. So yeah, now I'm guessing this will probably uh what can I say? Change the Iceman for the better, you know? they you know they, they got a huge shock here i'm sure of it you know because they are pretty strong they had a lot of confidence in them and after came, coming here i think this is the first battle isn't it for them in the first battle they lost in this manner like 
this like oh, <laughs> like this immensely they lost like they were they were nowhere near yo's team so yeah they got a huge shock here and this will probably make them more humble in the future and you know the main the main leader he would also be a lot more humble in the future yeah good like everything went well and everything ended in a good way okay and then comes the next part where how comes in and how says that yeah this was just the uh, chose i always forget so Sen senji rakesu was that the name Where is it? I think it is called that. Um, I can't find the name now. Jo Senji Rakyatsu, I think that's the name. Okay, yeah, here it is. Um, Jo Senji Rakyatsu. Yeah, I was correct. Jo Senji Rakyatsu. Um, <clears throat> How says that it was him who made this and he knows all the secret and he also knows how to defeat it. So he says that, yeah, join me. Now, like obviously this, this scene is very familiar at least to me. I'm sure it's very familiar to everybody because this is just like, you know, the whole thing of like, you know, Naruto and Sasuke where Sasuke goes to with Orochimaru. But there's a difference here, I think. Um, the difference here is in Naruto, Orochimaru was pure evil. Uh, he he's just a, like at, at least at that time he was he was just pure evil, and but here I still don't know anything about how I think how is actually doing this not for his own you know like not for his own gain or own benefit. The thing that Ochomaru did was for his own like, kind of benefit his own goals, but here I think <laughs> how is basically doing this so that <laughs> Ren can get stronger and he'll be a better fight you know he can fight properly and he'll have a good time fighting with him or something like that i don't know i hope so i think it is something like that because as far as i have observed how he he just wants a good fight i think <laughs> so probably it is something something like that the reason here you know uh but he does say that uh where is it just a sec Okay, where is that? Yeah, he does say that join me. Now, this is kind of um, this is kind of a little bit bothering <laughs> because he says that join me. So I think like you know I said that I think he is doing this to actually make him stronger, though, so that they can have a better fight, you know, a more equal fight. But it says that join me. I'm not sure what that actually means. Yeah, like why would he even try to recruit him? Like it doesn't make sense. Like, you know, like uh, how was all about, yeah, like I want a good fight. I want to fight with, uh, you know, yo, I want to see yo grow. So I don't see anything like with this. Yeah, like I don't see any kind of connection with that, you know, like if, if Ren actually joins him and he actually teaches Ren these type of powers, like, yeah, like I don't think Yo will be anyhow affected by that. It will probably be like, you know, like it, it will something be something like Lyserk where, you know, they go to the opponent team, but obviously that won't make Yo hate him or, you know, like not like, like you know, not like him because Yo is not like that. Yo is very calm, very cool, he understands stuff and he forgives people, that's the biggest thing. So like, I'm thinking about why, how actually wants him with him, wants Ren with him. He's even saying that he's going to te teach him, more. oh maybe, oh I, I think I can kind of understand what he's trying to do here. I might be wrong though, I'm just guessing here. Probably like, you know, like one thing we, we all can agree with. Is Ren is probably like you know like the the rival character of Yo. Like they're friends, but they're rivals. So I'm guessing what uh, how he's actually trying to do here is he's going to recruit 
uh, Ren in his team that will make them proper enemies in a way, you know, Ren and Yo. And, you know, like the previous connection between Ren and Yo, like they're rivals with each other, would, like, you know, there's like an emotional bond between Ren and Yo, the emotional bond of rivalry and, you know, uh, and friends. So after he recruits Ren, he'll probably teach him these type of techniques, make him strong. And then, <laughs> I might be completely wrong though. He he'll probably like you know Ren and probably Yo will fight with each other, and Yo will become even stronger with that fight. You know like you know like Ren will be even more stronger and they'll have an immense fight. And because the whole emotional thing is there between Ren and Yo, the fight will be even more impactful because everything like you know the determination and everything will be at a uh, stake here and. Furioku, like you know, and oversold those gain power with more determination, more emotions. So it'll, they'll have like an immense fight, like a fight uh, of like same caliber, same strength, and Yo will get even stronger with that fight after that fight ends. And that's how I think. <laughs> I think how he's trying to, you know, make Yo even stronger so that he can fight Yo after that. And, you know, like, yeah, that because, like, as I said, like, you know, one thing I can very much surely say that he wants Yo to get stronger. And, you know, he wants Yo to grow. And I'm sure he, like, you know, everyone knows, like, I, even I can tell that even though Yo is so strong here, he cannot fight um, uh, how on, like, you know, on his power level. How is a lot stronger than Yo? I can see that. I can probably feel that that's pretty obvious so maybe this is like his plan he's actually trying to recruit uh, ren teach him stuff make ren fight yo with, with their fight you know uh ren uh yo will get even more stronger and then like you know there will be like a finale and he decides to fight yo after that um this is like a huge um guess you know that i'm making and <laughs> yeah, I might be completely wrong though, but otherwise I don't see any other motivations working for, um, you know, how, like, why would he even try to recruit Ren? Like, I don't see anything or if, uh, who knows, maybe there is something that he has a plan and maybe that's why he's recruiting him. We, or maybe that's just not, it's still not being revealed in the anime and we'll get to know it later on. But still, from these 22 episodes and these 23 episodes, all that I've observed, how and Yo and Ren, I think it's probably something like that. <laughs> It'll be kind of interesting if it really is something like that, you know. He's basically recruiting Ren just so that he can become strong and fight with Yo, and Yo will become stronger with that. And that's how how we'll get a better fight. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, who knows? I might be completely wrong. Just a guess. Boy. Okay, and that, and then in the end we see Lyserk and Yo in the, you know in the sea beach, and they're probably going to have a conversation, which is nice, you know, like it's, it's nice to have conversations. Like no need to like you know make this, this any more awkward. Like have a conversation, you know, like Lyserk can tell his part of the story, Yo can tell like you know like respond to that and. Yeah, I hope everything will go well after this. Excuse me. Okay, that was it. Yeah, that was it guys. That was my reaction to Shaman King episode number 23. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll definitely check them out. So yeah. So that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Shaman King. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.